This section talks about the application of 2D FX in 3D VFX with the texture drawing process. The separate VFX section looks like this. The texture for these two elements, its texture looks like this and is a bit different from the common texture. The texture of a common 2D FX should look like this with the colors predetermined. This is relatively easy to use, but the flexibility is a bit low. If you want to change the color, you have to create an additional texture, which is a bit troublesome. Now with the shader function, you can use this texture to create different colors. Each channel has a specific purpose. The R channel is used as an alpha, the G channel is used to create the base color. The B channel is for the glow. This way, you can create different colors of VFX, depending on your needs. For example, I changed the blue color of the effect to a red color by modifying the parameters, so it has a bit of a flame feel to it. Then the texture drawing. It's similar to the traditional 2D FX mapping process, but with some minor changes. Here's a quick rundown of my workflow. First, I use TBH to create the outer outline layer. The advantage of vector drawing is that you can adjust the shape quickly and with high accuracy. After defining the outer contours, I exported these images and used paint for secondary drawing. This was used to create the shadows and glowing parts. The coloring feature of to paint is very handy. Using a multiplication layer and adjusting the transparency, you can control the intensity of the shadows. Here's a slight demonstration of the process. Anyway, process the remaining parts into paint and output the image. Next is the compositing of the sequence maps. I used some view to take these maps and merge them into one sequence map. Then inside SD, merge the different channels. Here I modified the contrast of the shadow layer to act as a glow layer. This way, the map is ready. Because I use a lot of software, maybe a little cumbersome. You can just refer to the idea. It doesn't need to be exactly the same as mine. Here is a simple version of the shader for reference. You can also purchase the source files of this VFX to further study the detailed parts. Above, I hope you some help.